What's up, what's up? Y'all know what to do. Press that subscribe button. Uh, I want to talk about how can you succeed in life without the help of no one? How can you succeed in life without the help of no one? This is how you succeed in life. First of all, you got to put yourself in, in a position to where you don't need nobody. Man, you can use whatever money that you get. All you got to do is just buy assets. You buy junk, you buy beer, you buy liquor. All you got to do is just for one time, stop. Take that money that you're buying. When you take that money that you're buying, uh, liquor and going to clubs and doing that stuff, you're going to have to stop. The reason why I said you got to stop is because you... <laughs> Are wasting your wealth. See, nothing is luck here. Everything is a, is counted on how you do things. How can you do things? How you apply what you know. See, LLCs are very easy to open. All you have to do is just find out what your taxes are in that state. Everything else is a write-off. You know what I'm saying? Once you get your EIN number, start writing off. Your gas, your receipts, all that stuff. All that's got to do with business. This right here generates your wealth. You see what I'm saying? Once you generate wealth, then everything is appropriate for it. Everything. Now, I've noticed that a lot of people are intimidated about LLCs. Why are you intimidated by LLCs? It protects you. That's number one, it protects you. When somebody's suing you, therefore, your LLCs are what just what it is, your LLC, and it protects you from being sued. They can sue the corporation, but they can't sue your personal property. You understand? If they can sue your personal property, that's when you can say, oh man, I uh I found out that they can sue the LLC, but they can't sue me. You straight on that. Man, I tell you time and time again, when you get your LLCs, all you gotta do is go to your uh colleges, right? Get them people, man. Use them. Now you're creating jobs. Now you're going to be creating stuff that most people don't create. Hey, man, I need the software for this. I need it. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you 3% of my company if you go ahead and create the software for this. They'll make enough money to where they can pay off their staff and whatever they need. You know? Then a friendship will grow out of that. You know what I'm saying? It will grow out of that. He got 3% of the corporation. You get paid, he get paid. So he ain't working for free. So when y'all succeed in doing stuff, guess what? Man, it will be so... It'll be so much competition out here to where... You don't have to worry about your white counterparts. Your white male counterparts and your white female counterparts. You don't got to worry about nothing of them. See, what I'm telling you is legit. I've told you time and time again. Hit me up in my email. My email will actually give you what you need. I'll give you all the books that you need. Whatever you're going into. And you can figure out how you want to apply that. See, your email is for networking. We can do this kind of stuff if we network. If we use social media, what it's used for, man, we'll get all kind of money, man. We'll get all kind of, we, we can build up so much to where people will actually find themselves wanting to, uh, I don't know, they, they want to be with you. 
You know what I'm saying? But you got to make an environment where people will want to work with you. All that hater stuff and all that hating and, and, and fussing and screaming and fighting. Man, that, you can say that for later. Let's get paid now. See, when you get paid, you ain't going to want to fight. Man, if you pay attention to stuff like opening up a software business to where it'll get you paid, you ain't going to want to fight. You ain't going to want to fight. If you pay attention to what's going on around you, these are the things that they're using on you. They're using it on you. So now you find yourself in a position to where you are paying out more and gaining less. That's if you don't open up your LLCs. LLCs are very, very vital to our community if we open up the LLCs the right way. Like I gave you the hint, go to your schools, all your colleges, pick out the best student the best student a lot of black students are up there <clears throat> and they're in need of a job and then once you do that then you can go to another person and get him see it's always good to get two I'll give you 3% just like I gave him 3% y'all two work together just think what you'll come out with man you'll come up with a lot of stuff man You'll come up with a, you'll gain a lot and you won't lose a lot. I've had so many people uh, uh, succeed and their success rate, you know, with, with, with what I'm doing, it, it'll help you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't have to take everything that I say as, as though it's God, but it just is a few ideas of what you can do. Now, if you want to uh, open up a marketing business, what you got to do is, man, you go down there, go to the marketing department and, at the local colleges, and you tell them, hey, man, I want to, I need somebody to go ahead and give me the marketing. I need marketing. I need, I need to get that done. You have a lot of people in business administration that would do that, that would help you. A lot of people in business administration that would help you. So, uh, with me uh, I had to go through all those different channels that way that worked for me and not only that it's a lot of black owned business so you can channel that wealth back into your business I've told you I said hey man you want a car okay this is how you go buy a car you go buy your car first you build your credit up that's easy to do. Then you go buy a car. Which I'll explain to you how to build your credit up too in this video. But you go buy your car, right? Now you got a car. You're, once you buy that car, you put that car on Toro. Once you put that car on Toro, say like you put that car down for $75. Right? Most people, when they rent your car, they rent your car out for about a week. For about a week. At the most, at the most two weeks. Then add up $75 for them two weeks. That's 14 days. Once you add up that $75 for 14 days, compare it against the notes of your car. Plus your insurance and stuff like that. That'll pay for both other cars that you get because you're gonna go get two you know what I'm saying you're gonna go to one lot you're gonna get one there then you're gonna go to another lot you're gonna get a lot and you're gonna get one from there sometimes you might want to double up on your on, 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 on those payments because if you get a loan let's say you get a loan for 36,000 right or 39,000 however you want to do it you get that loan all you got to do is just say okay well this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna double up on some of my payments once you double up on some of your payments, then you'll say, oh man, oh man, now look where I'm at. See, but you got to put it on Toro. 
Toro is good. It's a rental. It, 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 when, when, but you got to take your car to him. Now you got two cars. You get one person to drive that car and take it to him. Put it up. Make sure you insure your car. Get full coverage insurance on your car. It's a lot of things that you can do that we don't pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? Or we just don't know. Now I'm giving you game for you to understand that you have the power in your hand so you can go ahead and grab something. These gurus don't tell you nothing. They get mega rich. Why are you still staying in the same place? They're getting mega rich now. Gurus don't owe you nothing. All they're doing is just talking to you. I'm not asking you for a dime. And I'm telling you, this is what you need to do. We as a people should be tired of being misled and being taken advantage of. I understand. I understand that. That we are easily lied to. You ain't got to worry about none of that. Now, now that you got that, your car situation is straight. Now all you got to do is, okay, now here's about your credit. If you got bad credit, all you got to do is go to First Progressive. Once you go to First Progressive, you get that $29 card. Send them in $200. Or you can send them in $229. They'll take their fee off. One, and it'll take about a month, you know what I'm saying, for them to send you the card. Then you'll sit there and say, wow. And then watch your credit as it grows. And you work with it. Only thing you spend off of that card is $30 off a $200 card. Uh, a $200 card. Now, once you, uh, if you get a $300 card, then you can spend what is known as maybe 90 bucks. 90 bucks and then you just go ahead and pay it back that's letting them know that you can pay me back over time and you're more responsible with your money see they pay attention to what you buy and then once you once you buy that car and you finish that car guess what that means that you will honor that loan because they gave you a $36,000 loan and guess what you can go and buy your house they'll give you more money you can get trade lines once you get to trade lines, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. You will know exactly. But you got to learn trade lines. If you don't learn trade lines, then what's going to happen? You're going to lose. Because you need those trade lines. See, your personal self is totally different from your what is known as your business self. When you open up an LLC, that's your business self. You don't mix your social security number with your business self. See, if you go buy a car and they tell you that, oh, we gotta have a personal, no, I ain't gotta have a, look, I'm gonna use my EIN number. They got programs for that. They might not tell you that, but they got programs for that. Get up, walk out, until you find somebody that will give you a credit line uh, uh, using your EIN number. Never use your social for anything. For nothing. You got to get aid on your, uh, what is known as, 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 on, on your business. Once you get aid on your business, then people will give you a credit card. But it will be a higher amount. See, when you get a business, it's a higher amount. And what you do is, you got your personal credit straight. And you got your business credit straight. I'll show you how you can go about that. That'll be in another video. But what I want you to do is look, learn, and listen. I didn't say talk. I say look, learn, and listen. Now, you can ask questions because that's a part of learning. All your questions are welcome. There is no dumb questions when it comes to this. If you want to take your time, you can take your time. You can take as long as you like. But you can take as long as you like, but hurry up. See, a lot of people uh, look at me and say, Oh, how'd you get this? How'd you get that? Well, how you doing this and how you doing that? A brother 
gave me the understanding very, very quickly that I, I, I didn't waste no time. I read all the books that he gave me. I read a lot of books. Now, it's all about learning and how you apply it. See, people want me to be broke, but I'll never be broke. I'm sorry, I'll never be broke. It'll never happen. What you got to do, man, you got to work together. We all got to work together. Like I said, we got to start our own schools. We got to start our own hospitals, our own uh, doctor's office. We got to start our own own, uh, mental health system. We got to start all of that stuff. And we can start that kind of stuff, but we got to work together. See, I I, I don't fall prey to the stupid people like... uh, What's Oprah Winfrey? Because she's trying to take down all black men. All black men. But she never said anything about Harvey Weinstein. Never. See, you have to be woke up to your stars. Now you got people like Sean Puffy Combs. He's willing to get involved and help. Sean Puffy comes, willing to get involved and help. Then you got T.I. He's already doing something. Now you got other people that's rich and black that's trying to do something. John Smith done already paid off all the college students' loans, so they ain't got to worry about those loans no more. Get in touch with those people and give them jobs. But it's up to you. It is really up to you. So, I'm going to leave you as I came, and as I always say, peace.